Our group in the University of Hong Kong would like to present the work on growth factor GEP and drug transporter ABCB5 regulate liver cancer chemoresistance. Primary liver cancer is a common cancer worldwide. The major problem is cancer recurrence after curative surgery, and chemotherapy has marginal efficacy. We therefore hypothesize hepatic cancer cells with chemoresistant and stem cell features. In our early studies, we have examined the gene expression profiles of liver cancers. We look for novel molecular targets from the group of genes that are overexpressed in cancer tissues. Growth factor, granulin epithelium precursor, GEP, is the focus as a molecular target. Independent sample set has been recruited on mRNA and protein levels. Strong GEP is only observed in a tumor. For targeted therapy, antibody has shown to be a feasible approach. The classical example would be trastrizumib, trade name Herceptin, which is effective for a subset of HER2-positive breast cancer. We have shown that the GEP antibody can inhibit tumor growth in animal model. In this study, we focus on the role of GEP on chemoresistance and cancer stem cell. First, we regulate the expression level of the liver cancer cells by transfection experiment. We then examine cell apoptosis under chemodrugs. Under low-dose doxorubicin, GEP suppression has increased cell apoptosis, while GEP overexpression rendered the cells resistant to chemodrugs. The same result was observed with higher dose and on a different drug. Does GEP regulate chemoresistance? The next question is the signaling for chemoresistance. The common mechanism is decreased intracellular drug accumulation through the ATP-dependent binding cassette, ABC, drug efflux transporter. We have screened a number of drug transporter and observed that GEP regulated ABCB5. This is RNA and protein level changes. GEP suppression decreased B5 level and GEP overexpression increased B5 level. The liver cancer cells were plated out and selected under chemodrugs. Doxorubicin resistant cells and cisplatin resistant cells show an increase in IC50 by 10 to 16 fold compared to parental cells. And both chemoresistant populations show increased ABCB5 expression. The ABCB5 level was then suppressed by siRNA approach. Decreased B5 levels result in increased doxorubicin uptake and increased cell apoptosis. The cells were then examined for stem cell marker expression. GEP and B5 co-positive cells were gated and examined for CD133 and APCAM expression, where these have been shown to be hepatic cancer stem cell markers. ABCB5 suppression decreased the expression of stem cell markers. We then examined the clinical implication of GEP and ABCB5 in the independent specimen cohort. Both molecules are upregulated in XCC compared to adjacent non-tumor and normal livers. The patients were segregated according to the gene expression levels. Patients with high GEP or ABCB5 expression show poor recurrence-free survival. The prediction power for recurrence-free survival was examined by Cox regression analysis. By multivariate analysis, ABCB5 and tumor stage were independent pronostic factors. In this study, we would like to summarize that the growth factor GEP and drug transporter ABCB5 regulate liver cancer chemoresistance. When the cells are exposed to chemo drugs, there will be drug uptake. Cancer cells that divide rapidly are more susceptible to the damage. But for liver cancer cells that express the drug transporter, there will be efflux of the drug and render the cells drug resistant. Plus, the growth factor GEP will positively regulate the transporter ABCB5. Targeting this protein in combination with chemotherapy could provide novel treatment modality to eradicate the aggressive cancer cells.